Hey, Brad Kazmarski here. Topic today, talking about when exploring outside of the box to applications to moving better, FMS in general. Um, one of the things you've probably heard of, or if you haven't yet, you're going to hear about, is compression bands. Um, Kelly Starrett really brought it out in the forefront. Um, so some people are uncertain of what to do with this, even if it's a good idea. So whether you choose to use this or not, it's at least good to be educated on the purposes of them and how it works so that you can defend your argument either way. So two companies that I know of that make the um, compression band, the original I think is the Jump Stretch Company, which made the first version, um, I think it's Dick Hartzell, and um, now Rogue also makes a compression band that uh, I think Kelly helped design. So the compression band is a thin rubber material that says it can stretch 150% of its distance. So its natural distance in this band is 7 feet, it can stretch 150% of that. So it has some give. When wrapping it, you want to wrap, if you could stretch it 100%, you can stretch about 50 to 75%. And I'll go over that. I'm going to do a two part video. The first one will just be um, kind of explaining it. The second one after that will be more of its application and I'll use it from here on out. So with the compression band, its main application is going to be to enhance range of motion pain free. So you can do it at the joint or at the muscle, okay? So if you're wrapping a joint, you're doing it probably for two reasons. One is a swelling issue, more like a sprained ankle or something. That's a little, a little bit more medical, we can get into that, but I try to stay away from that a little bit. But the stiffness perspective is more um, something that we work with within trying to enhance the FMS score or the SFMA or any of those avenues of movement. So joints, you can use it for, for swelling or stiffness, so lack of range of motion. Either way, we're trying to get a better pain for your range of motion or muscles. So you may have an area that's um, really tight in the calf or a different spot that's just kind of, Kelly uses the term gnarly, that's kind of beat up over time. And that this kind of enhances, you've already foam rolling it, you're roll sticking it, maybe getting ART, this just enhances that. So the real purpose that I try to use to simplify the whole reason for using this is to just speed up or enhance what you're already doing. You don't have to think of this as a whole new method, technique, concept. It's really just taking what you're already doing and making it um, more progressive. So if you think of Mike Boyle's ankle mobility where he puts his foot up um, against the wall or puts it up on the block like he does in that video and does his uh, knee bends, ankle mobility, if you wrap this and do that, you're doing the same technique, you're just kind of enhancing the process. So think of it as just an enhancement of what you're already doing. You don't want to do it for more than two minutes. They say around 30 seconds to two minutes. Um, just play with it. Don't go numb or tingly. This is where it starts. This is why people like Mike Boyle, Brett Jones are a little bit um, uncertain of its uses and are worried. So to even have to use those terms like numbness and tingling. So you're going to have to be very smart and not overdo it. Experiment on yourself if you want to use it. Don't go right to using it on someone else. Use it on yourself for a lot, on different places, and feel comfortable wrapping. The frequency. I think this is the one thing that I haven't found a lot of good information on. I think the frequency is about one to three times a day. You might be able to do it more. You could definitely do it every day, and you could do it three times a day, I think, as long as you spread those out. You get a, you get a blood rushing in sensation afterwards, so you, just, you don't want to do it right afterwards. You want to kind of take a break. So, the purpose of a compression band, in general, is to help enhance pain free range of motion. Yes, there's a lot of other scientific um, physiology aspects, but just think from a trainer, from a strength coach, from an athletic trainer, PT, we're just trying to enhance our pain free range of motion, either at the joint or at the muscle, and we're gonna use some of the same techniques that we've been using, and we're just gonna apply the compression band to that and try to make that already technique that we're doing even better or a faster process. So the next video, I'm gonna actually try to put this into application and show you how to use it in some real world settings. But for now, I just thought it's important that you know what a compression band wrapping, what the voodoo band, voodoo floss, um, any of those terms are. Voodoo is just the name of this band by this company. It doesn't mean anything special. They just call it voodoo floss or voodoo band. So if you hear this, um, and it's gonna become really popular, I told Mike Boyle the other day, I think this is becoming the new foam rolling, what it was 10 or 15 years ago. What foam rolling did when it took physical therapy and brought it into being able to take care of yourself, 
10 or 15 years ago, I think this is the next version of that. So you might as well at least know what it is, whether you use it or not, to be able to have an intelligent discussion about it with other people. So um, next time I'm going to talk about and show you how to apply it.